I'm News 1130 is Peter Wagner in Seattle, Washington, as we are waiting, as so many have been waiting for what feels like years for the results of election 2020. A very typically Northwest day here. You can barely see that famous Seattle skyline behind me. And as a very gentle rain falls on the Emerald City today, well, folks have been busily turning in their ballots, but the mood here is exceptionally quiet. This is a state that has been voting by mail for a long, long time. In fact, I have never voted in an election in Washington state where I had to go to a polling place. So we are very used to this very new reality of watch and wait. Now, polls here in Washington state are going to be closing at 8 o'clock. By that, I mean the ballot boxes will be locking up, and we should have an initial look at counts of those ballots sometime after that. But as is going to be the story potentially all over America here in Washington state, we're very used to waiting for those results. We'll get a first count. The next day, we'll get more counts. And it's possible that in some states, we might not have clarity. But here in Washington state, very accustomed to that. So the mood here today, very quiet. Uh, as we've been going around downtown Seattle for a little while, here. Not that many people on the roads, people staying quiet, people staying close to their homes. Uh, but of course, we'll be monitoring everything that's going on with election returns, both here uh, in the rainy Emerald City and all across America, online and on air. For City News in Seattle, Washington, I'm News 1130's Peter Wagner.